Okay, welcome to the first lesson on jumping and today we're going to cover the waltz jump, we're going to cover the salto and we're going to cover the toe loop, all inline skates. So the technique is pretty much the same as on the ice, if not exactly the same, but it will feel a little bit different on inline skates. So let's go through the, the waltz jump, let's go through some, uh, some techniques for that, okay? So, first of all we have to decide how we're going to go into the jump. So are we doing backwards crossovers to an edge and then stepping forward? Or are we doing a mohawk into the edge and stepping forward? So first you have to decide which one you're going to do. And then from there, the technique is almost the same. Okay, so for this first one, I will do from the backwards crossovers. So backwards crossovers, so we hit that edge. And this is where we want to be. You want to be able to hold the edge here. So arms nice and strong, pointing the toe, and then from there we're stepping forward. Okay? So as we step forward, the arms will come back, and then so we go forward, down. Okay? So from here, step, jump, land. And what you will find is a little bit awkward on skates is how to land the jump. You want to be aiming to hit the toe pick and then getting onto the wheels. If you, step, if you hit like this and then you hit the toe pick, you end up doing a bit of a weird stop like this. Is what you, don't want to do. you end up sticking on that toe pick. So what you want to do is you want to aim to hit the toe pick. And then I hit something on the floor that will hold. <laughs> so what you want to aim to do. Do the wall as the toe pick, and then hit the wheels, and hold a nice edge like that. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're jumping onto the toe pick, and as soon as you land off the toe pick, you want to get onto the wheels and then ride the edge out. Okay. So you do your mohawk, step forward, jump through, and then land just like that. Okay. And for the wall jump, what we want to be thinking about. So, if we're going to do it from this line here, we want to think to go around, land, and then down. And the arms come together and down. Okay? Like when you learn the free turn, and the arms come together, land. It's also called a three jump. Okay? So, if we use the line, we step forward. We jump through and land just like that. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's move on to the salto. So there's a couple of different versions you can do. You can do from a left turn and jump through. But I would suggest it's going to be a little bit easier to do from the mohawk. So you do the mohawk, it comes through and jump. And I would just try just doing this exercise before you jump just to get used to the feeling of where you are on the wheels when you stop it. Because you want to try to be on the wheel until you go through. If you hit the stopper too early, if you hit the stopper too early here, and you kind of got to stop and you're going to get stuck. Okay? So it's finding the inside wheels, inside wheels, wait, 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 and then you would hit the stopper to jump through. Obviously when you do it that slow, you will stop and you won't go through, there'll be no momentum left. Okay. As we're doing the exercise, don't worry about jumping just yet. Just worry about inside, inside, come through, and just get that feeling. Okay? So one more time exactly the same. So inside, inside, through, down. And then if you want to progress that to the jump, I'll go inside, inside, jump, and land. And we're trying to land on that toe pick, or the stopper, and then ride on the edge out one more time. So inside, inside, through, land. And it's not the easiest jump on the lines, I'll be honest. I'll call it not the easiest, but it's possible. Inside, inside, right, through, and land. And you want to think about the right arm and the right leg working together. So they're here, they're here, and as they come through, they come through together and jump, okay? 
So one more time. So here, here, straight, land. Okay, and the landing is the same as the wall jump. Yeah. One more time, so let's now put it all together. So we're skating around. And then we do the mohawk. Land. Okay. And that is the south cone. And make sure as it comes in here, I think it jumps through. Time for floor and stop. As it comes here, when it jumps through, then land. Okay. And that's been the south cone. Okay guys, so we've covered the waltz jump and we've covered the south cone. So now let's move on to the toe loop. Now there is a few different ways to do a toe loop as well and I would say the easiest on the inlines will be from the outside of three turn. So that would be from here, set the three turn to this position and then from here we'll jump through. And I would suggest a little drill first before you start to jump just to get used to the feeling. So you're doing left outside edge, right back outside edge, step forward and down. One more time. So from here. And we're, what we're doing from here, we're not, we're not, we're not touching the, this toe stop at all. So we're just on the wheels. So we do three turn, step, and this is the first time that the toe stop is used on the waltz jump on in lines. Okay? So we're here, wheels, wheels, through, land. Okay, we're not jumping just yet, we're just getting the feeling of what it feels like to put a toe stop in and not a blade, not a toe fit, because it does feel a bit different. So again, so arms up, so three turns, right, south, 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 south. Up, through, down. And as, as the salco, the right arm and the right leg are working together in tandem, I think the word is called, could be wrong. So three turn, set, through, down. Okay. And just work on that until it feels comfortable, until it feels natural. You do three turn, set, through, and down. So just watch that you may feel like you slide a little bit sometimes on the wheels, like I just slipped a little bit on the wheels there. But three, three turn, step, through, land. One more time. Three turn, step, jump, and land. And it does feel a bit awkward, you know, on the inline. It's not the same as the ice. And that's just part of part of the beauty that it is a little bit harder than on the ice, but then when you do get it, it's much more rewarding. So again, three turn, step through, and land. Okay. Then maybe with a little bit more speed. So three turn, jump, land. Okay. One more time. So three turn. Set, jump, land. The landing is the same on all the jumps. We're aiming to hit that stopper and then ride the edge out. And yeah, just one more time. Do the, the drill. So three turn. Step. So as you step, the arms are here. Yeah, obviously you don't stop this stop. The arms are here. And then as you come forward, you come forward together, arms in. jump and I think that will be the end of this video so we've covered the, well, that's the toe loop. <laughs> okay that has been the waltz jump the south coat and the toe loop in this video am I a world champion jumper no but I feel like I know the technique enough that I can help people progressing onto inline skates okay so yeah if you have any questions any comments leave them below make sure to subscribe to the video as we try to get to that first thousand subscribers we're close to about 300 away or something like that so please help me out by subscribing liking and commenting and find me on social media and the, the, so, the, what is it, the skating duo it's so warm here today that my brain is just not working so have a great day everyone see you in the next video bye